have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Strength Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. Like I told you, every single video, let's make sure that it gets 500 likes. So before you drop a comment, before you watch and hear anything else I got to say, go ahead right down here or right down there, smash that like button. I promise you, this chest workout right here is going to have your chest looking just crazy. You might not even be able to lay down at night after you do this chest workout because your chest is going to be so pumped up, it might be choking you out. You know you get some gains when you can lay down and your own chest is choking you out. Now that's enough talking, so let's jump straight into this chest workout. Our first exercise, we got the resistance band barbell bench press. We're going to do four sets, and we're going to stay between five to eight reps. Your bench press will almost go up at least like 30 pounds. I'm talking about in a matter of like three to six months. My bench press is weak. Where I've just been dieting, I didn't do no barbell bench press probably for like the last like seven months. So my barbell bench press is weak, strength team. Listen. You ain't got to tell me it's weak. I'm telling you it's weak. But you just watch. My max right now is probably only like 275 pounds. I'm going to keep doing this resistance band over the next three months. And I guarantee it I'll be benching over 315 pounds. And we have four sets. And we're going to stay between five to eight reps. Now to finish with that, we have the incline dumbbell bench press. We're going to do three sets. And we're going to stay between six to ten reps. Every single set, make sure you add weight. Now your third set, that's going to be your heaviest set. Because that's going to be a drop set. So I want you to choose a weight that you can barely get six reps now if you push and you get six reps go ahead and drop that weight and then get like another weight maybe 40 50 pounds lighter now i want you to go ahead and rep out 12 to 15 reps i went from the 90 pounds and i dropped it all the way down to like the 40 or 45 pounds now to finish with that we have the incline dumbbell morse press and we're going to superset that with the incline dumbbell flies now with the incline dumbbells morse press we're going to do three sets and we're going to stay between 10 to 12 reps like i always tell you when you're doing this make sure you're focusing on driving those dumbbells together what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that your chest is already contracted now come all the way down get a deep stretch now just push up i want you to think about that for every single rep think about keeping the tension in your chest this is going to really help the inner portion of your chest just to get masked up now immediately after you finish with your set go ahead and drop them dumbbells pick you up somewhat of a light dumbbell because i want you to do strict flies now like you're seeing the video i got a workout partner if you're blessed with a workout partner go ahead and try what i'm doing i'm telling you this right here is like 10 times better than just a regular dumbbell fly. You keep constant tension on the pecs throughout the whole entire range of motion. And as I'm bringing the flies up, as I'm squeezing my chest, I got my workout partner adding extra resistance. So I have 20 pounds with the dumbbells and then I don't know what he's adding, but I'm telling you, it feels like he's adding 70 to 80 to 90 to 135 pounds because my chest is just like, it's just crazy. Definitely try this out because the pump that you're going to get off of this is just ridiculous. Now, the last exercise for our chest, we have the machine flies and we're going to do one set, but that one set, it's going to be a triple drop set. So like you're saying in the video, I want you to choose the heaviest weight possible. I think I did the whole stack and it was like 220 pounds. Go ahead and make sure you get in a deep stretch and squeeze your chest and go to failure strength team. When I mean failure, I mean you cannot do one more rep. Go until your body says, I am done. And immediately after you finish with that, go ahead and drop that weight by like maybe 50, maybe 40 pounds. Now go right back for your second set strength team with no rest, minimum rest. Go as many reps as you possibly can do. Still think about stretching and squeezing and contracting your chest. Now, after you go to failure again, drop that weight by 40 to 50 pounds again and go to failure again. I'm telling you, strength team, this workout is only like 45 to 50 minutes, but the pump that you're going to have in your chest is just going to be ridiculous. Now, technically, you are done, but you know how I am. I am big on blasting my delts out. I'm trying to make my side delts pop. So what I always do on my push days, I always do some seated dumbbell side raises. I'm only going to do four sets. I think I only use 20 pounds, but the form is always spot on. You can see when I'm doing it, I'm not doing too much swaying. And when I'm all the way at the top, I'm thinking about contracting. So I'm never just swinging the weight up. Like you're seeing the video, I bring my arms up. And when I'm right here, I go ahead and go up maybe two more inches and get that peak contraction strength team. I do that for every single rep. We're going to do four sets and we're going to do 15 reps every single set. I did a little bit of tricep work, but all I did is I did three sets with the tricep cable pushdowns and I was very strict. I did not record it because I was like, 
there's no need to record it. This is optional, you don't have to do it, and also, you don't have to do the side delts if you're just wanting to do your chest. But all I did, I was real strict with my tricep push downs, literally one, two, three seconds on the way down, one, two, three seconds on the way up. That's all I did, three sets for 10 reps. I kept it very simple because two more days from now, I got a crazy arm session and I'm going to blast my biceps and I'm going to blast my triceps. But strength team, like I told you, this is the comeback. I know y'all like, real, you never really fell off or you never really left, but listen, it's still the comeback is how I'm treating it. I need to think in my head that I fell off because that's just going to make me just go that much more harder in the gym. It's going to make me stay that much more strict on all my meals and just make me go to sleep so I can get at least six, seven, maybe eight, and maybe take a nap and get nine hours of sleep every day. Stay hydrated. I'm drinking at least a gallon to a gallon and a half every single day. I cannot stress, routine how important it is staying hydrated. I see so many people like, man, I can't get gains. I'm like, you know why? Because all you drink is beer. All you drink is liquor. All you drink is soda, all you drink is sweet tea. Start drinking water and watch how your body responds. You're gonna see some drastic difference if you just clear all that junk out and just focus on drinking water. I promise you, water is the key to life. Water will make your gain say I'm gained up. But anyways, like I tell you in every single video, strength team, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. Put it at the end of the day, what I always tell you. All my strength team family members, what do I always tell you? Yeah, keep getting them gains. Like Tupac said, all eyes on me. Oh my bad, this is who I'm supposed to leave, right?